Hi all, I just thought I'd give you a quick little preview of the text locking feature within Lock in Traffic. Um, I wrote this post on, I believe it was May the 25th, and Lock in Traffic was installed, I'm not sure if it was on the 26th or the 27th. But anyway, um, prior to this, this thing had been turned off to the search engines. And uh, let's look at the results. Scroll down here. Now in this article, I gave my readers 10 tips for email marketing, and then I also provided uh, an additional two tips that I locked out. Now they're already getting great content, they've got what they were promised, 10 tips, and now they have the chance to get some bonus tips. So when you use lock-in traffic, you're going to see a little prompt here, it says hope you're enjoying the read, please share to continue. And as you can see, I've got 60 likes and 29 Google Pluses and 59 tweets. Uh, I can say for certain that that's much better social sharing than I've ever seen before on any of my posts on any of my sites. Even uh, posts that I had like, numerous, numerous content or comments on, I never had this kind of social interaction. So let's go inside and I'll show you just how easy this is to use. Okay, let's scroll down to the portion I have locked here just so I can show you how easy it is. All you need to do to lock or unlock your content with lock in traffic, it's very easy. You just highlight the section that you want to lock. And then there's a little icon with a T and a lock, and that will blur or unblur the selected text. So I just hit that. Now this has taken the blur away. So if I want to restore it, all I need to do again is just highlight that. And click the icon, update, and as you can see here shortly, it's locked again. Okay, there's another little feature I'd like to show you here. Let's go back into all posts. As you can see, there's a little traffic icon that comes with lock in traffic. So let's click on that for this post and I'll show you a few things with it. Okay, so um, this first graph shows of the 100% of people that have seen this post, 18% of those have shared. Um, my traffic's gone down a bit because I emailed my list out about this post. So. Uh, they haven't seen it for a day or two. But as you can see, uh, it shows you the different social sharing sites that this has appeared on. So this is all, um, we have Plus One, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. So you can track which sites are getting the most shares. And you can also choose exactly which sites to share on. If you just want to show on, share with Twitter, you can or only with Facebook, or you want to share with all of the above, that's entirely possible too. So that just shows how quick and easy it is to use the text locking feature on Lock and Traffic, and I'll have more for you in just a minute. So let me show you how easy it is to use the image blurring feature on Lock in Traffic. I'm just going to go and grab a picture here from my media. How about that one? Okay, this is a nice picture of a trip I took to Panama last summer. So we're going to blur this out. So all we need to do is click on it to highlight it. Go up here and find the appropriate icon, which is this first one to blur out images. Click on that. Okay, so let's update. And let's preview the changes now. So as you can see now, that has blurred that image. And when someone hovers over, then we get our sharing bar back. So if they want to see that picture, then all they need to do is click one of those social icons. So very, very simple to do. And again, let me show you, if you decide that you don't want that blurred out, all you do is highlight it and click, and there it's clear for everyone again. Okay, see how easy that is? 
So in the next section, we'll look at uh, blurring a video out. Okay, I wanted to show you the video pause feature with lock-in traffic. Now this is um, really customizable. You can choose to pause a video either at the beginning, the middle, or the end of the video. You just have to tell uh, lock-in traffic how many seconds in you want the video paused if you choose the middle option. Um, this works both with self-hosted and with YouTube videos. So let's just uh, click play and see what happens here. So as you can see, an opt-in form has popped up when your visitor hits play. Now you can either choose to force them to opt-in to uh, gain access to the video, or there is a skip feature, um, so they don't have to opt-in. That's entirely up to you. Let's just hit the skip to see what happens. So as you can see, the video resumes. Um, I mentioned that this works with either self-hosted or YouTube videos. Um, under lock-in traffic settings, you would just uh, give the URL of the video, if it's a YouTube video, or of your self-hosted video, and uh, add a few titles and information. And what will happen is that lock-in traffic will make a short code for you then. And you just uh, copy and paste the short code in anywhere on your page where you would like this video pause feature to work. It's uh, very simple to use, and uh, you can also Use the same uh, video feature, but instead of asking for an opt-in, you can ask for a social share. So it's a really cool little feature, and I think you'll really love it. So I just wanted to show you a little bit about the Lightbox feature on Lock and Traffic. Um, as you can see, we integrate with most major autoresponders. We have MailChimp, GetResponse, Aweber, eye contact and constant contact. So to enable the pop-up, um, there's a button here to either enable or disable it over the entire site. Um, as you know, you can uh, choose to have an opt-in form pop up on any particular page or post. Um, so you just, uh, if you want it over your entire site, you just uh, click on the yes button. You choose how many seconds in you want the uh, pop up to display, you could put 10 seconds, 5, whatever you choose. Enter a headline and a pop up title. And as you can see, there's a number of skins to choose. There's uh, lots of different colors to select from, so there's sure to be one that'll fit nicely with the design of your site. Um, you'll also see a button called Website Pop Up Allow Skip, and there's a yes or no option. What this does, if uh, your visitor uh, sees our light box come up, they will be given an option to skip it and not enter the information at that time. So that's entirely up to you if you want to require them to uh, enter their information to see any content or if they're allowed to skip it. So you just enter your settings and hit save and that's it. The pop-up will be enabled. So. Uh, there it is, very simple to use. I hope that helps.